In episode five of Oedipus Rex, a second messenger comes out from the palace to tell the people, represented here by the chorus, that Jocasta, after crying out to Laius, has hanged herself. Oedipus, who raged through the palace looking for Jocasta and demanding a sword, broke down her door and found her dead. <gasps> the messenger reports that Oedipus then used the brooches pinned to her clothes to gouge out his own eyes so he would no longer be able to see the horror that is his life. The messenger says Oedipus continued to strike at his eyes with the brooches to make sure they would be completely obliterated. And now he wants the gates opened so he can be revealed to the people as Laius's killer and his mother's husband. The chorus tells Oedipus he should also have killed himself rather than live blind. Recognizing the chorus leader's voice, Oedipus blames Apollo for his fate, but still takes full responsibility for his blindness, though he doesn't understand why the gods would allow this to happen. Oedipus's daughters are brought to him by Creon, who knows Oedipus has always been comforted by them. Oedipus tells them that Creon is their brother, and then he begs Creon to take care of the girls because no one else will want them. He begs Creon to send him away. Now Creon takes pity on Oedipus and tries to keep him at the palace, but Oedipus says he wants to banish himself and live far from their sight. Creon agrees, but tells him he must leave his children behind, for he now has no power over them. Jocasta, claiming she can no longer say a word, has silenced herself for good, as predicted. Oedipus does not take his life, but as he was blind to both truth and prophecy, he gouges out his eyes to plunge himself into total darkness. Creon did not want to be king, but is now forced to take that power. While he pities Oedipus and shows him kindness by trying to comfort him and keep him at the palace, Oedipus wonders why Creon would pity him or make compassionate requests of the gods for him when he is so depraved. Creon tells Oedipus one of the most important morals of the story, for even you must now trust in the gods. When Oedipus replies, yes, I do, he shows his suffering has convinced him of the power of the gods.